Laura, not only your first road race of 2015, but this is your first ever Tour of Flanders. How are you feeling? Um, I'm really excited about it, to be honest. Um, it's a race that I've always wanted to do, but I couldn't have because um, where the track season falls. So normally this is like two weeks after and I wouldn't actually be physically fit enough to get around, I don't think. So um, yeah, I thought this year I could do it, so why not do it? Have you had a look at the course? Do you know where the hard bits come, where the big climbs are? Um, I've looked at the second 50k, <laughs> which was mainly just cobbled sections um, and a couple of hills. But I feel like this is sort of race that I don't want to know. Like I'd rather go in totally unaware of what's going to happen. Okay, Lucy, your sixth tour of Flanders. How are you feeling ahead of tomorrow? I'm really excited. Um, it's one of my most favourite races just because of the Belgians and everybody just out and it's such a tough race. I really can't wait. Obviously the weather has been pretty apocalyptic in Belgium over the last couple of weeks. It's raining right now, what are you expecting for tomorrow weather-wise? Well the forecast is no rain, so fingers crossed. The last few times I've done it, it's generally been nice. It's kind of like the first day of spring and it's sunny and I hope it is all for, for the spectators because there's so many people out there. It'd be horrible to see them all stood in the rain. <laughs> How much does the weather play a part in the race as well, especially the wet on the cobbles? Um, I don't particularly mind the rain so much, it's just whether it's cold. I really just hate the cold. So, I mean, generally in the bunch, if it's wet, it's a bit more nervous and yeah, there's more crashes and things like that. So for everyone, it's probably just nicer if it's, it's dry and sunny. <laughs> Obviously, you're a team of very strong riders. How do you pick the leader for each race? Does it sometimes pick itself? Um, I guess it kind of depends on what type of race it is. Um, like if you've got an out and out sprinter, I guess a hilly sort of classic race isn't um, always best for them. Um, but if you've got a person who is a climber, then I guess um, we'd ride for them. Um. I think it sort of depends on what happens in the race as well. Like we always have a plan starting off, but that could completely go out the window within like a couple of K. So um, yeah, it does change whilst we're on the road. Um, yeah, I think it's been really good so far because we've almost changed leaders for each race we've done. It's not just been like the same person all the time and then it kind of gets a bit boring. So um, in the meetings we've had with Steph, he's definitely kept it quite open. And like Harriet said, we always just talk and then it depends how the race goes for who we work for in the final, really. Without giving too much away, what are your personal aims and the team aims for tomorrow? Um, I think for the team, um, a top 30 would be good. Um, I think it's achievable with the way Molly's going at the minute. Um, for me, um, I mean, I'd like to say I'd, I'd finish um, quite high up. Like, I don't know, say top 50 would be a nice target. But I would just like to get round, to be honest. <laughs>